Hey budgeties, welcome to my YouTube channel. If you are new, my name is Mom29, working on me and my husband's financial freedom journey. And if you're returning, hey friend. So in this video, we are going over, we are going over October. Oh, I love a new month, if you don't know that. I do, I love a good clean slate. We could just start off with new fresh numbers, new goals. Um, new calendar. I love it all. Okay. I love it all. So that's what we're going to be doing our um, monthly budget. We're going to be going over the calendar, just like, you know, where the paycheck fall, if you will. And we're going to be going over the goals. I 10 out of 10 recommend everybody get some goals together. Okay. For the new month. Ah! So this is the first month of the last quarter of the year, right? October, November, December. Yes. So that also makes me excited because it's like, let's revisit our 2024 goals. What haven't we accomplished? What do we need to still accomplish? What did we accomplish? I don't know. Also, I feel like the last quarter in 2024 or the, any year is usually like when people start to get in their mind what they want to do for 2025. I'm not rushing time, okay? Because time is flying on its own. Like yesterday was January. That's what it feels like. So love this for us so also um before i get started if you don't know your girl is on her journey to 5500 youtube subscribers so if you haven't already make sure you click that subscribe button so let's get into it so first things first this here this beautiful binder this is my budget planner um you're like girl no it's not it's a binder okay but what i'm trying to say is <laughs> this binder is my budget planner and i got it from target super cute affordable okay the point here is you can just budget with anything it don't have to be fancy okay okay and then everything inside these are um printouts that i have on paperbymo.com while it's still up i say this all the time listen don't hold me to it but we're gonna skedaddle on to october and i'm gonna take everything out because if you don't know your girl writes hard and i write to the side so we're gonna put the binder slash budget planner to the side and we're gonna get into it okay so first things first is we have our actual calendar <clears throat> starts on a sunday ends on a saturday and our quote for the month of october is becoming rich is hard but staying broke is hard a dur i thought i was gonna say harder <laughs> so becoming rich is hard and staying broke is hard so choose your heart basically what they're saying is life is hard and which hard you want to live with so yeah that's a cute quote i don't know i don't want to be rich i want to be wealthy okay what's the difference you ask i don't know me <laughs> but no i i i appreciate this because it does take a lot of discipline to just keep the numbers going to budget every month and sometimes it can be tiresome i promise i know trust me i've been doing it but it's worth it in the end okay <clears throat> so first things first um october starts real 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 soon i'm actually kind of doing this late it's gonna start on a tuesday um that's gonna be the first and there's 31 days because there's halloween so it's, see it's easy for me to remember <laughs> how many days there are in october because of halloween so i'm just gonna go ahead and begin to count all the numbers out one two three four five i'm I usually try to talk while doing this, but in the past I've messed up. So we're gonna just one, two, three, four, five, um, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Uh oh, twelve. I messed up and I didn't even say anything. Thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one. 2, 3, 4, 25, 26. Ah! Okay, 26 is my husband and I's one year anniversary of actually being married. We did have a wedding in the year 2024, but we eloped last year on the 26th, so I'm really excited. Okay, 27, 28, 29, 30, 30. And then the 31st is thanks Thanksgiving. Y'all can tell what I'm looking for. It is Halloween and it's on a Thursday. Let's see what colors we can take out. Green for paydays. We're writing in navy blue. Also, if you don't know, your girl is using Pilot Precise V5 pens. I love these pens, but I also have some other ones. Um, some other Pilot pens and occasional staple pens. Yes, unfortunately, I do. I might steal a couple, if you will. 
I don't like red. I'm missing, I think a lot of them are in my work bag. That might be it. And then let's take this light blue one out. Okay, <clears throat> here we are. So first things first, my, I was gonna say honeymoon. My anniversary, it's our anniversary. Okay, so I'm just gonna put here one here married cute cute if you will okay and then we have halloween which is on the 31st why didn't why am i taking out a highlighter y'all i don't know so we're gonna do this because i feel like halloween's like orange yeah. Do y'all know how to spell Halloween? H-A-L-L-O-W-E-E-N, I think. Okay, Halloween. That is on the 31st. And then <clears throat> we have our payday. So let's get into the payday. So I'm trying to think, is there any other holidays in October? I don't know. Okay, so let's our paydays my husband and i we both get paid every other week so we get paid bi-weekly um so our first payday is going to be on the 11th so we're going to do it in green i do get my paychecks on like wednesday night thursday um morning but we just decide hey to make life easier we're just gonna say friday y'all just say friday okay so this is payday and then the 25th is also payday I did do some calculations. I don't know if y'all are like me, but with paydays, I did, I did some calculations to see like when the next three paycheck month is, and it's gonna be in January. Okay, that's a good start to the new year. I'm just saying, a good start, if you will. Okay, so this is our calendar. We got two paydays. My husband and I is one year anniversary. Um, I put when you're married, just really because I can't spell anniversary. Anyways, and then Halloween is on the 31st. We live in New Orleans, so is there something to do for Halloween? Sure. Are we doing it? I don't know. We haven't done it since we lived here, so we shall see. <clears throat> okay, next thing we're gonna do are our goals. I'm excited, I'm excited, I'm excited, just for the possibilities. I don't know about y'all, but it just makes me excited because anything is possible. New month, new me. <laughs> okay. So we have four sections here and in each section there's three possible, you know, things you can list, but I usually just combine them. This month we only have about four goals, but let's just get to it. Um, I'm gonna think I'm gonna name the first section money, okay? Money. So if you don't know, your girl got a ticket um, for illegally, what is it, um, like merging? Well, it wasn't a merge. Anyways, I got a ticket and somebody hit me. <laughs> so somebody hit me from the back at a stoplight, but I got a ticket from how I merged over. Ugh, listen, don't get me started. But I'm good. I have to go to court in the month of October. So the hopes is, um, the goal is to get the ticket thrown out without affecting insurance or having to actually pay anything. So I'm literally going to write that, y'all. I'm trying to be specific. Get ticket well this is some ugly writing it's really the pen i'm telling you the pen affects the writing okay it might be me too get ticket thrown out so without affecting insurance <clears throat> and no pay okay i'm trying to be specific here so we're trying to get the ticket thrown out without affecting my car insurance let's put car insurance and no pay i'm not trying to pay anything okay the second thing for this month is do i want to keep writing in this black pen yeah we'll write in it so for the second thing with when it comes to money is um october for my job is usually when our job raises hit i do know what the numbers look like i think i got like a three point something percent raise so i i also know what the numbers look like when i calculate the raise prior to taxes being taken out so my goal is for the raise to hit and it increase my check um a hundred dollars after taxes okay so increase raise to hit and increase check after taxes but i wrote this so big okay let's do raise in effect 
and increase. <clears throat> Check 100 after taxes. This is so ugly, but that's okay because we're writing it down. Raise in, a, um, in effect and increases my check after $100 after taxes. Okay, and then let's move on. Number three, we're going to do back to the car. <laughs> I want to get my car fixed. So to get the repairs fixed, um, I could have did it through my car insurance, but I did not want my car insurance, me and my husband's car insurance to go up. Also, I'm trying to eventually change our car insurance to a pay per mile, okay? So I really didn't want to, you know, go through the car insurance and pay the deductible because to get my bumper fixed is $1,200. So I'm going to just try to take that out of um, my emergency fund. Thank God for emergency funds. And everything gets nice and good so i'm gonna put car get fixed um it's under money because it's gonna cost me money so that's why i put it there okay so over here i'm just gonna put life so i want my husband and i to have a happy one year anniversary oh my gosh do i have to spell anniversary one year and a n n i v e r I don't know. You guys don't don't judge me. Okay. <clears throat> so this is gonna be our happy one year anniversary. Also, another life thing. I just added this because technically that's all the goals. But I just added this because we do live in New Orleans. Um, one, two, if you haven't been noticing what's been going around in the United States of America and just the world with all these dang hurricanes and storms, I pray to God we do not get any more hurricanes or any more bad storms or anything like that so that's what i'm gonna put no more storms 2024 please 2024 and october if you will because this is the october goal okay so these are the goals get the ticket thrown out without affecting my car insurance um and no pay meaning i don't have to pay anything also my raise is in effect and increase my check a hundred dollars after taxes my husband gets a raise but not in october i think his hit like december january so <clears throat> um also my car get fixed and then my husband and i have a happy one year anniversary and then no more storms let me be specific hurricanes okay can i put in nola thank you 2024 love that for us so we have our um calendar and we have our goals now see this is me getting stuff out of order now we are moving along to our monthly budget excited okay so we are going to write in the navy blue just because it's it's been a minute if you will all right and at the top we're going to go ahead and put the month which is oc october i was about to spell that wrong okay but here we are. I really do hope the ink stays while I need to write this out. Okay, so um, let's talk about money because, and let me zoom you guys in really quick, really fast. Boom. So when it comes to money and I'm doing our budget, we do a zero-based budget. If you don't know, that basically means that every dollar has a job. So zero-based meaning by the time we're done allocating all the numbers in our bank account is zero dollars now hypothetically ours is not really zero dollars because we do have like a mini mini buffer you know sometimes stuff hits and you forget just being honest so you include your buffer though in your zero base budget just saying um so that's number one so when we go ahead and say we're starting out we're gonna say we're starting out with zero dollars okay because we're saying zero base budgeting zero dollars in our account um now let's get in to our paychecks and what we're expecting to do so as you already saw for the month of october we're gonna have two paychecks my husband and myself um we're gonna start off with mine i know i'm supposed to be getting some type of raise but i'm not exactly sure exactly you know what it's gonna look like after taxes i'm also gonna get a um bonus and it's supposed to be one hundred dollars why do i breathe heavy because i know taxes is going to assault that bonus check so i'm not gonna include it right now what we're gonna do is simple. We're gonna do 2396.01. That's how much I usually make. We're gonna stick with this and we're gonna times this by two. And that's gonna be $4,792.02. Okay, so this is gonna be my full time check, $4,700. That's right. Oh, wrong pin. It's gonna be 
$4,792.10. And then we're going to do my husband. So lately, my husband, first things first, I get paid salary. My husband gets paid hourly. Um, <clears throat> that's just how his job gets down because I'm trying to save ink on this pen. Thank you. So usually it's been, it's like $1,600 for his check. It's been a little under, but we're going to keep it in hopes that, I don't know. It just depends when he clocks in, when he clocks out. So that's $3,200. Then my husband, because he gets paid twice, then he gets a commission check once a month. Um, we try to worst case scenario it. So we just do $700. That's going to be $3,900 for his full time check. And then like any other money, we do have a vending machine. We usually don't touch that money, honestly, because we're probably going to owe some tax. <laughs> god why so we don't touch that and then when youtube if i get paid for the month of youtube what i do is just put it towards my student loans so this is the money that we are calculating to income so we have the three thousand nine hundred dollars for my husband and then we're gonna have four thousand seven hundred ninety two dollars two cent for moi that is gonna be a total of eight thousand six hundred ninety two dollars and two cents okay eight uh oh that's an ugly eight eight six nine two dot oh two okay <clears throat> then we're gonna get into our fixed expenses if you don't know fixed expenses are just expenses that's not supposed to change so your bills your rent internet stuff like that i do include our electricity even though our electricity does fluctuate a little bit um but that's just life okay so we're gonna go ahead and do all of our fixed expenses first things first we do our rent um my husband and i we do our rent into both the paychecks we divide it by two so we do 804 but our rent totals out to 1608 really it's 1607 but we just say 1608 so we can split it evenly okay so electricity usually we'll say it's about um 130 140 but it's the summertime and it's hot and we're in louisiana so we just gonna give it 150 and then our internet is cheap and it acts its wage that's 5150 okay so then we also have a phone bill this phone bill is kind of high it's between me my mom and my husband and it's with AT&T so take that with <laughs> with a grain of salt okay so the phone bill is about 179 so that's what we're gonna give it 179 dollars um subscriptions so the subscriptions that we we are currently paying for are like outside of um Amazon, because I do have an Amazon Prime account, um, it's gonna be $22. People are like, oh my God, what are you paying for? That's only $22. So really, I'm just including the family Apple Music plan, which is like 16 something. Um, and then I'm including like, you know, the Apple storage, the 99 cent here, the 99 cent there. Um, and then Hulu, every Black Friday, your girl signs up for a new Hulu, Hulu account, which is 99 cent a month, and it has ads. So those are the subscriptions that I'm talking about when I talk about subscriptions. Um, <clears throat> then we have our student loans. So we're gonna say O student loan, and then we're gonna say Mo student loan. And we gotta start talking about this because this is gonna change. You guys know my husband and I are on a payoff journey, but <laughs> life is lifing, and we're just looking at other things things if you will so my husband bill used to be three hundred dollars he was on the save plan okay and because he was on that plan and they are currently through litigation they have some lawsuits they're going to court whatever now they're in deferment i think what that means is there's no interest being accrued and you don't have to pay the bill so we had decided previously that we were going to continue to give my husband the three hundred dollars um but that might change because we're just trying to figure out um, what we want to do with our money. We're doing a lot, like over $3,000 every month towards student loans, but we decided we might want to save more money for our house. So we might be altering our goals soon. Okay. So I say all that to say, um, you probably, you know, I don't know. We'll, we'll see. This is why you budget out your money and then you can change your mind. <laughs> okay, so our car insurance bill last month some month of i think september or august it officially went up not because of the ticket okay let's let's keep that cute but if it, it went up just because life was lifing so that ended up being 234 dollars and two cents this is another reason why i did not want to go through my car insurance with the um with the accident 
because first of all the other person had no damage they had a really big pull up pickup truck my little car my little hyundai got the damage but i didn't want to go through my car insurance because i knew my car insurance was going to be even higher than it already is and i just don't have time okay but like i said in the previous video i think i even said it in this video we are looking into a pay per mile type of thing because we don't drive far for work so yeah okay so we have our car insurance, life insurance, um, YMCA, which is our gym, student, my student loan bill, his student loan bill, because we're still gonna pay that, at least for right now. <laughs> Subscriptions, phone, internet, electricity, and rent. Okay, so let's go ahead and add these numbers together, but because I'm trying to say that, we're just gonna put the top on that, and let's get into it. So we have 1608, uh-oh. I wanna make sure you guys can see this. Yes, okay. <clears throat> we have 1608 plus 150 um, plus 51.50 plus 159 plus 22 plus 300 plus 197 plus 71.10 plus 234.02 and then plus 108.04. So our bills are 2000 nine hundred twenty dollars and sixty six cents and we know what's crazy is that we're on our fire journey which is financial independence retire early if we want um and we're supposed to be lowering our bills but i just feel like they're just getting higher some of them without our choice like we can't go up we can't car insurance we need you know okay so two thousand nine hundred twenty dollars and sixty six cents so we're gonna take this number and then we're gonna subtract it from the $8,692.02. So it's negative because I did it the wrong way, but it's $5,771.36 left over, which is already a blessing to have money that is left over. Um, I am, you know, I realize that not everybody has that ability to have money left over. $5,771.36. So definitely grateful for that. So after we do fixed expenses, we're gonna go to our variable expenses. Please, pen, keep working. I, I feel like I can see the lack of ink. So variable expenses are those expenses that continue to change. Um, for us, it's our food, it's our gas, and our fun money, even though we don't really change that stuff too much, but hypothetically, it could change. So <clears throat> what we're gonna do is write out our food, and then we have my husband's gas money, and then we have my gas money and then we have um, my husband's fun money and then we have my fun money these are the only things we're keeping in our variable expenses currently okay so when it comes to food we try to do 200 dollars a check so that will budget out to be 400 and then when it comes to gas we're gonna do 30 dollars per check per per car <laughs> so that means 60 dollars for my husband and then $60 for me. Also, I do wanna put out there, because I do watch some other YouTubers and <clears throat> we're not sticklers when it comes to the gas and the fun money, meaning, oh, you know, how much did you spend on gas? And then he says, oh, I only spent 20 on gas. Okay, well, let me get your $10 back because we can invest it. We probably should do that. I'm not gonna lie, but we don't. So that 30 for each check that he's gonna get and the 30 i'm gonna get for each check even if i don't spend it all i keep it and then that might turn into like maybe my coffee money or something like that okay so my husband's fun money and my fun money so we get 50 dollars a check so that's gonna just be 100 and then 100. there's just little things i mean i i get that we can be like i said more stickler about it but we're not so whatever works for you that's why it's a personal budget you gotta figure out what works for you so four, five, six, six, um, six, sixty, six. So seven twenty is the amount. Okay, right here. I was just adding numbers. I don't want to change this yet, but I might need to anyway. So seven hundred twenty dollars for our variable expenses is what we're projecting. And then I'm gonna plus seven twenty because it was negative. I know I'm being, I'm doing the most. <laughs> So then the remaining amount here is $5,051.36. Then we're gonna go from here to there. So we're gonna go up to our savings, okay. Oh, please, 
I need to get some more pins. <clears throat> so we're gonna go up to our savings. So if you don't know, my husband and I are both on our fully fund our IRA for 2024 lifestyle. <laughs> so there's that. Um, we're also going to give a little bit of money to sinking funds just because um, the holidays are coming up and between Christmas and Thanksgiving. Although I don't really give too many Christmas gifts anymore these days. Um, but there are people in my family who have crazy, crazy lists. So here we are. Okay. <clears throat> so for my husband and ours, IRA, my IRA, I think right now we're at about 5000 and something dollars. We still need to get a couple thousand to get to our 7000 which is the max for the IRA. But... We do 291 a check. So 291 times two is $582. So we're gonna say 582 for him and then 582 for me. Yeah, this pen is going out. Okay, so then we're gonna do our sinking fund and we're just gonna split $400. And if you're like, what do you mean split? My husband and I, we do our separate sinking funds. Again, I'm not micromanaging and he's not micromanaging. So some of his sinking funds can be his hair getting cut, or doing something to his car, whatever the case may be. So he has his own sinking fund um, and then I have my own. Then the next thing is, this is why we're thinking about really decreasing our contrib contribution to our um, student loans is because we wanna save on for a house. Um, we do have a little bit of, well, we do have $10,000 saved. We were given that as a gift from when we got married, but we decided that we know that $10,000 as a down payment is not gonna be enough and we make too much money to get any possible real assistance from anything so we're gonna have to put more money now this is not a lot but it's something so 487 dollars okay is what we're thinking about starting off with so let's get into it we got 582 times two that's 1164 dollars and then we're gonna plus 400 okay and then we're gonna plus 487 so that is $2,051 okay total $2,051 so when you take $2,051 minus $5,051.36 we're gonna have $3,000.36 so back to the student loans um, we're gonna give the $3,000 to the student loans that's the goal here so the total is gonna be three thousand i'm just gonna make sure you guys can see this and then the remaining is 36 cents so let me zoom you guys out <clears throat> okay so this is what we have thus far i'm going to get our handy dandy highlighter because i do want to highlight some stuff that we're still going to do with cash <laughs> not too much on the cash but we realize that cash helps us when it comes with our food and um the fun money so Let's start off with the fact that we're thinking we're bringing in $8,692. I like to worst case scenario, the budget. I know it's gonna be a little bit more because at the very least my, um, not raise, but the other one. Why can't I not think of the word? Bonus, okay? So that is gonna bring us up a little bit, but I worst case it. And then when we come back, we can actually do the actual numbers. So we're gonna worst case at $8,692. And if that's worse, I'm okay with that in life. And then our bills are about 3,000. So $2,920.66. Um, again, I'm praying that car insurance doesn't go up. Also, if, or no, not if, when I pay my um, for my car to get fixed, my emergency fund is going to go down so then the discussion between my husband and i is going to happen of whether we should put a little bit more money back to an emergency funds i don't know these are the conversations you gotta have so food um is 400 let's go ahead and highlight these things okay so we're gonna highlight food we don't do um gas and cash because we like um or at least i like sam's club so we're gonna do fun we're gonna do fun nothing else we really do in cash other than our hurricane fund which i pray there is no more hurricanes um cash because we just had one two weeks ago so truth is i'm tired y'all but yes um and then we get up to our IRA, our savings we have our iras mine and his sinking funds for the holidays and then 
look, we're starting to put money towards our house fund slowly. Um, we might, it's the topic is is um, a discussion. So we might end up maybe doing our student loans by half or taking at least a thousand dollars. So this is something for us to, we're testing it out while we're in the last quarter of 2024. So when we hit 2025, we can have a more clear, concise goal on what we want to do in life, okay? So yes, this is our October closeout. We have our goals with money and life. Um, we also know that we're getting paid twice this month. Um, the main goal for sure for me is getting this ticket thrown out, okay? If all else go fails, I am more concerned about this dang ticket. Um, and you're probably like, girl, you're doing too much. This is my first ticket, okay? This is the first ticket I ever had and I'm nervous because why? But anyways, that's the goal here. I hope you guys did your budget for the month of October. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you in the next video. Bye.